What's going on guys? I just wanted to make this quick video to clear up some fake news that has been floating around recently that I think I somewhat added to with my clickbait video that I just did a couple of days ago saying that Nvidia is cutting GPU crypto mining efficiency in their cards. Now there's been a lot of other videos and articles that people have made covering the same things that I did in that video, but as I'm sure you know, a lot of people tend to just read titles of things and don't actually pay attention to what's being said in the video or what's written in the article. And the result is a lot of people thinking that these new drivers that Nvidia just released on February the 25th is going to nerf their cards mining performance that they already have. So a lot of people are refusing to update their cards, trying to, like I guess if they're using Windows, trying to block updates to their drivers or whatever. Uh, but in the video, I explained that the only, it's only the new card, the RTX 3060, that is getting nerfed. Um, so this is the only driver that those cards officially support. So your mining efficiency will be cut only if you're using that specific card, the 3070s to 3090s and all of the rest of Nvidia's cards before that are going to be the same with this driver, or in some cases they might be better. I have seen some benchmarks that people posted, at least with the newer cards, showing slightly increased hash rates with things like a 3090 um, when they're mining Ethereum, both in Linux and in Windows. So if you're mining Ethereum and you have one of the newer cards, you should probably update your drivers. Uh, I don't know about other cryptos, but I know that most people are mining F because that's the most profitable right now. Um, but yeah, just don't go buying a 3060 because Nvidia is basically trying to get, have those cards be saved for the gamers and video editors, uh, basically the non-crypto folks. Now, here is my speculation about this. So none of what I'm about to say here is official. It's just what I think is going to happen. This is just opinions based on moves that NVIDIA is making right now and their history, their track record. So I think you're going to start seeing a definitive split in crypto mining cards and gaming cards coming from NVIDIA. I think that the days of cards that are good at both, like we've been seeing with this last launch, is over, at least as far as cards from NVIDIA are concerned. AMD will probably continue to do both for a little while because they don't really make specialized cards. Um, they kind of just have an attitude of, you know, do whatever you want with the hardware. They tend to make all of their cards fairly capable for all of the different things that you can do with a graphics card. But NVIDIA, on the other hand, they have been making specialized cards for a while now. So they've had things like the Quadros for a long time, which are meant to be professional graphics cards. They're, or they're meant to be graphics cards for professional video work. Um, you know, think like if you worked at Disney or Pixar, you would probably be doing a lot with NVIDIA Quadros. Uh, they came out with the Tesla cards a few years back, which are meant for scientific engineering, uh, particle simulations, and stuff like that. And then most recently, they announced their crypto mining processors, which we should start seeing uh, both this quarter and next quarter of 2021. So NVIDIA has been specialized for a while now, and clearly they are becoming even more specialized by launching cards that are specifically meant for crypto mining, while at the same time cutting the performance of mining in their latest cards. And if these CMPs don't just end up being a major flop that nobody buys, like if they're actually able to compete with... I think Antminer is pretty much the most efficient thing that you can really do mining with. It's basically a crypto ASIC. Uh, and I think these are more or less crypto ASICs as well because everything that I've been able to find on these cards so far just says that they're meant for mining. It doesn't say that they're able to do other things like gaming or rendering videos. And it says that it's specifically for mining Ethereum. So it's not, uh, it's basically an ASIC. It's meant to do one thing at least from what we see so far. So if NVIDIA's ASIC is actually competitive with the other ones out there, I bet you're going to see this trend continue with 30 series supercards, if they end up making those, 
and with their next generation of cards, they're probably all going to have their crypto mining abilities nerfed so that NVIDIA can make more money, so that they can sell those cards to gamers, um, video editors, or at least non-professional video editors, and stuff like that. So if you look at NVIDIA's position right now, their corporate position, uh, their major competitor is AMD, and they have been closing the gap in gaming performance with NVIDIA. In fact, with these latest cards, AMD actually gives you better gaming performance with lower resolutions like 1080p, especially when paired with one of their latest Ryzen CPUs to take advantage of smart access memory. So AMD has NVIDIA beat with price to performance since their cards don't cost as much. And the latest NVIDIA cards, they have been so scarce due to them not actually building enough, not supplying enough of these cards for all the demand, that a lot of people just went with Team Red last year due to the sheer unavailability of those cards. Like, there were people who would have been Team NVIDIA all the way, not even thinking about AMD, but they bought an AMD card because that was the only thing available. So further special specialization of hardware makes more sense from a purely corporate perspective. Plus, there's the fact that this is NVIDIA that we're talking about. Anytime that they're faced with two different decisions, they're going to go with the one that's going to make them more money. Uh, they've been that way for a while now. So even though this is just my speculation, I wouldn't be surprised at all if things go down exactly the way that I said they would. Remember this video when you start seeing all future NVIDIA cards nerfed for crypto mining.